Hello everyone. For this example, we use the book by Das and Siva Kugan, which is the Fundamentals of Geotechnical Engineering, 5th edition. This is about preconsolidation pressure. So this is a problem. We need to refer to the E log sigma curve or E log sigma plot shown below which is a result of consolidation test. And from this result, we will determine the pre-consolidation pressure, sigma sub C prime, as well as the compression index, C sub C. So the graph shows the relationship of the effective stress here, the effective, or effective pressure, and the void ratio. So this is the given curve, consolidation curve, and from there, we will determine the pre-consolidation pressure. So if you remember, the pre-consolidation pressure is obtained graphically by simply following several simple steps. The first thing to do is to locate the maximum curvature point on the, or the minimum radius of curvature. So from this graph, it is found that the maximum radius of curvature or the maximum curvature point is, say, at this point. Let us write this is the MCP. From the maximum curvature point, the first step is to draw a horizontal line. Okay, so let us say that this is our step one. The second step is to draw a line tangent at our MCP. You see, that is that line. And this is our step two, sorry. This is our step two. The next step is to draw a bisector line of one and two. So we draw a line at the center of line one's and line two. And this is our bisector or the third step. Then the fourth step is draw a line from the virgin curve going up intersecting our bisector line. So from here, draw a line intersecting our bisector, which is this point. And then from here, We extend this line down to the x-axis, which is the effective pressure. And from there, this is our pre-consolidation pressure. Okay, although this is not drawn to scale, the result of this graphical solution is 160 kilonewton per square meter as our pre-consolidation pressure. So, for letter A, let me write from the graphical solution sigma sub C prime is equal to 160 kilonewton per square meter. Again, take note that the x-axis is a log scale. So if you're going to plot it to scale, we can get the exact value of 160 kilonewton per square meter.
And then for our second question, we have to determine the compression index C sub C. So the first thing we need to do is to consider a straight line, which is mostly found at the virgin consolidation curve. And we consider two points here and get the slope of this curve. And that will be our C sub C. So let me give you two points here. One is this point. Let me say this is sigma sub 2, which is 800 kilonewton per square meter. And another line here, the first one, which is Say here we have sigma 1 prime. Say this is 400 kilonewton per square meter. And then we have to get the void ratio at these two values of effective pressure. So let us say. From this void ratio, we have E1 here as 0 0.712. And for the effective pressure of 800, we have another E value which is say E2 equals 0.627. Okay, again, if we consider a log scale that is drawn to scale, that will be exact values. Okay, so from this data, let me just write, for a pressure, of 400 kilonewton per square meter, we have a void ratio of 0.712. And for a pressure which is equivalent to 800 kilonewton per square meter, we have a void ratio of 0.712. 6 to 7. So if we recall from our derivation, C sub C can be calculated as E1 minus E sub 2 divided by log of sigma 2 over sigma sub 1. This is prime. Okay. So when we substitute these values, we have 0.712 minus 0.627 divided by log of 800 over 400. Therefore, C sub C is equivalent to 0.282. So the final answer is 0.282. And for letter A, the final answer is 160.